Hi there, Ron Callis. Thanks for tuning in to our third video in our five minute marketing series on SEO. If you have not watched the previous two videos, check out our five minute marketing content on the One Firefly website. Now, in our previous videos, we talked about the acronym EEAT. This is the guidance that Google has given all of us to help us understand how they're going to rank content on the internet as more credible. EEAT stands for experience, expertise, authority, and trust. Today, we're going to focus on the T, the trust factor, and the role that directory listings play. Now, many of you recognize these logos. Uh, we have, what, MapQuest, Merchant Circle, Facebook, Yelp, Better Business Bureau, Foursquare. These are simply a handful of the hundreds of local directory listings that people in your marketplace use to find local service providers. Now, here's an example from y -Pliance. So if you just simply type the name y -Pliance, that's one of our clients out of, uh, they're in multiple markets, but their, their headquarters are in Seattle. And what you'll notice on that page one result is multiple listings from uh, these directories. There's Howl's, Instagram, Facebook, and Yelp. So you can try this, type this in, and you'll see the results for yourself. Now, Google is looking at these directory listings in addition to populating them on page one of Google, they're also ranking them as a Google ranking factor. What does that mean? That means that they are looking for certain characteristics in the data in these profiles. And if that data is consistent across the internet, they would deem your business more trustworthy. And that ultimately is gonna help you rank better in Google search. So what exactly does that mean? That means they're looking at your name, address, phone number, and W, that is the acronym, N-A-P-W. They're looking for that to be consistent on all placements online. So let's look at an example of what not to do. So here you're going to see that ABC Home Automation is listed on one directory, and then they are listed as ABC Home Automation LLC. And then on a third, they're listed as ABC Automation, comma LLC. Now, if you look closely, you're also going to see the address is inconsistent. The phone number is inconsistent. The hours of operation are inconsistent. The URL is inconsistent. And so perhaps your business has evolved over time. Maybe your name changed. Maybe your address, your phone number, even your website changed. So the fact that it's not consistent, it's innocent. But the, re the reality is it's harming you online. So you need to go and clean that up. So here's an example of what you want. You want a pristine footprint where all of that information is uniform across all directory listings. So what One Firefly has done to help you is we've created a page and a free utility where you can determine what the current state of your online direct directory listings are. It's going to look like you see here. And when you enter your URL and ultimately receive your report, you're going to get a listing of all of the local directory listings that you are found on. And we're going to flag where are their inconsistencies so that you know what needs to be updated on those various platforms. Now, you can get to this free tool on our website. It is at the URL onefirefly.com forward slash digital hyphen health hyphen check. You can also scan the QR code. We are going to ask you to enter your website URL so that we can run the analysis. And then we are going to ask to collect your contact information. The reason we're doing that is we want to have that on file that if you choose to make contact with One Firefly, we can look you up, have that information, and we are willing to go through that report, help you understand it. We're actually covering much more than only directory listings. We also will run through a competitive analysis and help you understand how you are ranking up against your competitors. Hope you found this information helpful. Hope you check out uh, the free uh, report and utility, and I'll see you on the next video.